Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. I believe we have about 35 items to ship out. Today is Tuesday. The post office was closed yesterday for Juneteenth. And so this is going to be basically a long weekend of sales. Let's go ahead and get into it. So starting off, we have a pair of shoes. These are the brand Halogen, which is a Nordstrom House brand. I don't always get this, but these were genuine leather and they're a heeled mule, which is a very uh, popular kind of classic contemporary style shoe. Very chic. And with the genuine leather that definitely does you know, increase the quality of them, I would say. So I always wrap shoes individually, especially if they are genuine leather or genuine suede because they can rub together during transit and cause damage. So I do wrap them separately. All right, so I'm going to grab my box number 1092. I use this to ship a lot of shoes. Uh, because it's a great size. Add my thank you sticker. I feel kind of out of sorts. Maybe just from having a long weekend. I need to get back into the swing of things. Let me pull my light up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I think we're situated now. So for these shoes, I listed them at $35.00. And someone did like the listing, and so I sent them out a $31 offer with discount ship. They did accept that, which made my earnings $22.12. I paid two for these. I got them from my Family Thrift Center outlet, so my net profit was right at $20 on those shoes, which is right smack dab what I would expect from like a genuine leather kind of high quality shoe from Nordstrom as long as it's you know just like a Nordstrom house brand if Nordstrom does sell some very expensive shoes so basically just Nordstrom uh, house brand shoes that's a good price point okay next up we have loft Ann Taylor loft outlet lounge tag this is a linen blend dress I picked it up because of the fabric, very beachy, lightweight, summery, boho, all the words. It was also a size large, looks like it has never been worn. And yeah, mainly the seasonality and condition, super cute. I did add a lot of keywords into this. This is for sure my bread and butter kind of stuff in the summertime, really anything linen sells fantastic for me. This paper that I'm using, uh, I'm not super used to just because it's slightly larger than my duck brand paper. So if you've been following my channel for a while, all of my videos I have used duck brand packing paper, but um, it's, I don't order it on Amazon. I buy it at Sam's Club and so um, I wanted to leave a link for you guys because I know a lot of people order stuff on Amazon and so I wanted to try out this paper by U-Haul uh, because it is easily order orderable through Amazon um, but the only thing is it's a little bit larger I do kind of like that though for bulkier items uh, it just takes some getting used to Definitely the same quality or better than Duck Brand. So yeah, I will have the link to this paper down below. Um, I have been enjoying it for sure. So yeah, that dress, I listed at $25. Again, someone liked it, so I sent them out a $22 offer with discount ship. They accepted, my earnings were $14.92, and my net profit was right around $13. Okay, a three item bundle. I'm going to grab my box number seven. I just line it with a piece of this paper. We have first off this Forever 21 
poncho. I rarely buy Forever 21, but this had quite a bit going for it. It's hooded. It has a fun kind of southwestern print to it. It zips down fully in front, fringe trim, and the weight to it was good. It's, it feels pretty substantial, honestly, style-wise and weight-wise, I would say. Second piece is this adorable, no-brand poncho uh, wrap type piece. This would be adorable as like a swimsuit cover up or even just with some shorts and a white tank top and this over it. I wear a lot of stuff like that in my own personal wardrobe. And then lastly, we have this gorgeous open front cardigan. The brand is Cheyenne, which I hadn't heard of before, but I found this in a stack of really high quality lag and look stuff. Uh, this is a linen blend and it actually has the option to make it like a draped crossover front. It has buttons where you can button it up on both sides to make it like a draped front, which is really pretty. Uh, definitely, again, like a minimalist contemporary kind of style. Also very boho. So yeah, I just pack everything in and then I will add a piece of paper on top add in a thank you sticker and then it is nice and presentable when the buyer opens it up then we just tape it up so for the bundle of these three items i sent out a 65 dollar offer with discount ship the buyer just added them all to a bundle and i sent her the offer she did accept that which made my earnings 50 dollars and 28 cents I paid $5 for all three pieces, and so my net profit was $45. I kind of just had the Forever 21 piece as like a freebie because honestly, ponchos and those open front sweater tops take me like 30 seconds to photo. I just throw them on my mannequin, swivel it around, take pictures of all sides, and you know, there's no real measurements to take since it's like a free size kind of piece so yeah I definitely keep that in mind when I'm outsourcing I do like to pick them up because they do take so little time and effort to list okay next another three-piece bundle these are all skirts first is this cloth and stone which was sold at Anthropology. It does say Anthro on the tag. It's a light wash chambray midi skirt with an elastic waist. It's like a pull on style. Very cute, but also comfy for sure. Second, I think I'll just wrap these all together. Second is J. Crew. This is the pencil skirt in a size six. It's a wool blend, really pretty pink color, zips in back. And lastly, also J. Crew. This is size four, black pencil skirt. So really nice bundle here. This black skirt I picked up at the Benz. The pink one a friend gave to me to sell. This is also Benz. Um, so I only have about three dollars into all of these skirts which was great. The buyer bundled the three and I sent her a $50 offer. I did not include discounted shipping just because I thought 50 was pretty good for the bundle. I thought that was a good deal. She did accept that, which made my earnings 40 and my net profit $37. So I hope the buyer enjoys her skirts. Honestly, the retail on this bundle, I would say the cloth and stone skirt from Anthropology probably retailed for like 98 ish. Uh, and J. Crew skirts are probably also about 100. So this is like a $300 bundle for 50 bucks, which I think is great. Definitely a win win. Some people don't pick up basics like that from J. Crew, like basic pencil skirts, just because they do sometimes tend to sit. 
Um, but I definitely do, just because I know that they will sell eventually. They are such a closet staple. And I have um, I have a bot that shares my closet, so it doesn't it doesn't um, cost me any extra time to share items that are sitting for a long period of time each day because I'm not the one sharing. So that's how I think about that. Okay, uh, yet another three-piece bundle. This is funny. First off is this soft surroundings top. Really cool. It has buttons in both the front and back. Very lag and look, kind of artsy piece here. Contrasting stripes, asymmetric shark bite hemline. There's just a lot happening with this. This is like an ideal soft surroundings piece for me to find style wise for sure. This did have a lot of interest. I think that had like over 20 likes. Second piece is this gut run showed showden. That's my best try, best effort uh dress and this is like a novelty fall print dress. It has pumpkins and apples, very fall color scheme as well. And it does have like a little embroidered trim throughout. I see one loose thread. Let me clip that. So yeah, kind of interesting the sold in summertime, but honestly, fall will be here before you know it. This brand is definitely a bolo. Um, they make a lot of really fun prints. I think it's a Swedish brand. And yeah, definitely something to keep your eye out for. Third and last piece is this Zara t-shirt dress with this kind of like minimalist contemporary graphic on the front. Um, I just picked this up at the bins. I buy pretty much anything Zara that I see at the Goodwill outlet just because it is so cheap and it's a very popular brand. It's one of my solid bread and butter sellers, I would say. And I have not noticed any category selling worse than another with Zara. Pretty much everything sells. Um, obviously, you know, the more substantial stuff does sell better and for more. I would say like tweed blazers from Zara or anything that is a blogger favorite, which just means that popular influencers or bloggers uh, have bought Zara items and taken like cute Pinteresty pictures in them and posted them and made them really popular. And then usually the item will sell out on the Zara website if it's a newer piece and so people will have to turn to the secondhand market like Poshmark, eBay to find the blogger favorites and then people start upcharging for them because they know that they're more sought after so it's a whole big thing but if you want to keep track of what is a Zara blogger favorite which is for sure something to know about um, to be aware of just search for it on Poshmark or any selling platform and look through the solds and availables. Okay, so for this, bundle price came out to 119 Someone bundled the three and offered me 75 which I accepted. I have had the Gut Run dress, the fall printed dress, for... I would say three to five months now, so I was ready to move it out. I did accept 75. My earnings were 60. I paid five for everything. So net profit was $55. Next, a really pretty piece here. This was purely a style, size, and material based pickup. The brand is Chi by. F-A-I-C-H-I. I've never heard of this brand, but I saw it at the bins. First off, it has a reptile print, which animal prints sell amazing for me. It is 85% silk, 15% cashmere, so very luxurious fabric kind of blend. I could also tell, even though it didn't have a size tag, that it was plus size. I believe this measured like a 2X. 
So for all those reasons, I still did want to get it. And it ended up selling for full price, which was so awesome. That always makes my day. Uh, I listed it at 38. And so my earnings were $30.40. I paid around $2 for it, and so my net profit was $28.40. So, could not be happier with this. It really is a beautiful sweater. I love the neutral print, and um, it definitely does have that really soft, kind of silky, just high quality feel to it, I would say. Moving on yet another three piece bundle. This is kind of funny. I didn't know I had so many of these. Okay. So starting off, we have a very cool poncho style sweater, very unique, artsy, boho, all the words. The brand is Custo Barcelona. And this was yet another bins find. Um, I think this is a pretty expensive Spanish brand, I want to say. Custo Barcelona. I mean, Barcelona, Spain. So, yeah, I would think so. Um, and that sold pretty quickly, I'd say, within two weeks of being listed. Uh, it was a mohair blend, mohair wool, and very unique. I was very confident that would sell well. Second piece is this oversized kind of drapey, sun-washed, free people shirt. Uh, very just bread and butter kind of free people uh, piece here for me. And lastly is a pair of shoes. This pair of boots by a brand I had never heard of before. This is a... Zagini, Zagini. I will put it on the screen, but I thought they were really cool. They have this like mixed metal studding to them. They're genuine leather, really nice in great condition. I picked these boots up from my family thrift center outlet, so I paid two dollars for them. I say I've had them now for a couple months, um, but the other two items were very quick sales. So the buyer bundled the three of these items and I sent her an $85 offer with discount ship, which she did accept. That made my earnings $66.28. I paid six for everything and so my net profit was right around $60 on this bundle. Okay, moving on two piece here. here we have first off Talbot's turtleneck. This is very basic and plain, just black with little cute buttons at the sleeve. I wouldn't have gotten this if it were not new with tags, but it retailed for $70, mainly just because it is so plain. I don't know. Actually, I may have gotten it. Um, I would have liked it to be in combination with like a nice print or um, fabric content, but the combination here is that it's new attack. So that does elevate it. And second piece is this really fun boho kind of paisley printed scarf with the fringe trim. Again, another piece I just threw on my mannequin. Uh, and I always like to show the different ways you can wear this, like as a wrap or a scarf even a sarong. Um, I didn't, I, I can't show it as a sarong on my mannequin because she does not really have, I guess I could. She doesn't have legs, but she does have hips, I guess. So um, yeah, I, I could show it as that. I guess I should start doing that. So when the two of these were added together, the bundle price was 60 and someone offered me 45. I did accept that. My earnings were 36. I paid two for both. These were both bins pickups and they're very lightweight. And so my net profit was $34. 
I love getting Chico's, J. Jill, Talbot's Basics closet staples because they sell really well for me. Um, I think a lot of people know that their retail price is a lot, like that sweater was $70. And so finding them on the secondhand market, I think, you know, a lot of people like to save money. Next, an incredible piece here. This is Eileen Fisher, size large. It's a double breasted, like trench coat piece. I think this is. Yes, 100% organic linen, which we love to see from Eileen Fisher. Um, they're sustainable fabrics people really like, and especially natural fabrics, linen, cashmere, alpaca, merino wool. And so I had this listed at 75 and maybe six months after being listed, I got a $55 offer, which I did accept. That made my earnings 44. Another pickup from my family thrift center outlet. And so I paid two. Net profit was $42. So really nice piece. This probably retail for I would guess around 200, possibly more, 250-ish. Um, but unfortunately, Eileen Fisher, it's resell. It doesn't retain its retail value too well, um, but that's fine. Still a $55 sale, which I'm happy with. I might have to switch this to a box. Actually, I think we're fine. So these Tyvek envelopes are waterproof and obviously the boxes are cardboard so they are not and I use paper which is also not waterproof but I have never had a customer reach out and say that their items were damaged due to rain or water damage. Um, up until now I've been selling on Poshmark for five years now and so I get this question all the time. Um, if that ever happens, I will reconsider my shipping materials, but I just like to ship with paper because it's more eco-friendly. Um, at the high volume that I ship, I would feel bad shipping so much plastic out. Uh, and so that's just kind of my viewpoint on that. But obviously I would reconsider if it ever were an issue in the future. Okay, next we have J. Crew. This is a pale pink a little silk shell. So it's kind of what I was just mentioning with like Talbots and the more mature brands. This silk tank was probably $98 retail would be my guess. Maybe even a little bit more, 120 ish And I listed it at 24. It's in excellent condition, no flaws. Uh, someone offered me 17, which I accepted. My earnings were $13.60 and my net profit was $12.60. So even though it's not a super substantial piece with it just being a tank top, I did still wanna get it because the silk fabric does elevate it. It's very kind of elegant and chic. Um, definitely something that you could wear to the office, wear to dinner, uh, you can layer with it, so yeah. And I did get this at the bins. It weighs next to nothing. And so, uh, yeah, I only paid about a dollar for it. Did I say my net profit on this was $12.60? If this had been 100% polyester, I would have left it. But the silk for sure does, you know, make it a higher quality. Moving on, we have a pair of Free People shorts. These are really cute. They are an older piece, but I did want to get them because they're a good size, size 30. And they have this fun mixed metal design on the pocket. They would have been cute with the boots. We would have had a lot of metals happening. 
in your outfit. A very boho. I always add like festival, boho, summer. I listed these at 28 and I would say I had them for maybe like a week only before someone liked them and I sent them out a $25 offer with discount ship which they did accept that made my earnings $17.32 and my net profit $15.32 so yeah I for sure still pick up uh, older free people stuff if it has a good style to it and a lot happening which those definitely did the seasonality is there the style is there okay next we have another kind of trench coat style piece I had never heard of this it is our label size extra large I actually got this in a thread up mystery box if you can see the belt loops here so it is missing a belt which is why I think they sent it out in a in the thread up mystery box but I researched the brand and it looked pretty expensive it was a size extra large and it was in good condition otherwise so yeah I still listed it at $40 I just mentioned in the listing that it was missing a belt I basically just wanted to recoup my costs on this if you just cast aside pieces that you get in mystery boxes that are missing accessories or have a small flaw, then those pieces will end up driving up the cost of your uh, good condition items that you sell. So my theory is that as long as you at least make back your cost of goods on um, all as many items as you can then you know that's kind of the best move I would say so yeah I ended up listing this at 40 and maybe six to seven ish months after I got a $30 offer which I was ecstatic about I did accept that that made my earnings 24 uh, I, I still to this day have not calculated my cost of goods on that mystery box. I really need to. It was the 100 pound mystery box, but I'm going to guesstimate around $5 per item. I believe it was much lower than that, but just to be conservative, my net earnings on this jacket were $19, which I could not be happier with. <laughs> Okay, moving on, we have Jay McLaughlin. This is a 100% linen button-down shirt. I do kind of like to stick to picking up exclusively Catalina cloth fabric items from Jay McLaughlin uh, just because they sell the fastest. It is a nylon spandex blend. Uh, that's their Catalina cloth. People search for it. They know it. They love it. However... This was 100% linen and it was white, excellent condition, size large, um, no flaws, so I had to get it from the bins. I wasn't going to leave it behind. I had it listed at 38 and I was getting offers for like 20, 22, 25. And finally, after I would say two months of being listed, I got I'd sold for a full price, $38. So I was so happy about that. That just kind of goes to show you um, if you know that the piece is desirable and it's a good brand, then you want to just kind of stay firm. So yeah, sold for a full price of $38. Uh, that made my earnings $30.40 very lightweight so I probably paid about a dollar for it and so my net profit was $29.40 okay moving on another exciting sale Talbots this is a cheery yellow again 100% linen blazer this is so cute it has an oversized tortoiseshell button closure in front and then tortoiseshell buttons on the sleeve it's a size 2 I believe this is a newer piece. Um, it was, I was at the bins. It was just sitting on top, just kind of splayed out. No one grabbed it, so I totally did. 
Uh, this is probably retailed for 100 to 150 ish, and it looks brand new. I think it is brand new. The bottom hem was still, it still had the stitching for being sewn shut in back, and the pockets are still sewn shut. So I listed this at 45. Someone liked it, and so I sent them out a $40 offer with discount ship. They did accept that, which made my earnings $29.32. I paid around two. It does have a little bit of weight to it, and so my net profit was $27.32 on this blazer. So, yeah, I was, like I was mentioning, J. Jill, Chico's, Talbot, they are honestly my powerhouses right now. Um, of course, I'll always love Free People, Anthropology, and Madewell, but honestly, I feel like my average sale price is definitely higher with the more mature brands, depending on the piece. Uh, you know, substantial stuff from Free People, heavily beaded, embroidered stuff still does sell really well. Okay, moving on, we have a bag. This sold, I would say, within a couple weeks of being listed, maybe even a week. The brand is Viola Castellani. That's my best guess on how to say it. Genuine leather, really pretty, again, with the mixed metal studding. That's the theme of today's Ship With Me, mixed metal. Um, this did have a couple flaws and to the leather and it was missing the shoulder strap, the long strap. Um, but I thought it would still be really easily carryable as just a tote bag. So I still picked it up and I listed it at 35. I wasn't familiar with the brand. I did get it based on quality. Someone offered me 29, which I accepted. Earnings were $23.20 and net profit was $21.20. Okay, now, oh yeah, okay, so this jacket, I actually am going to have to cancel the sale. I noticed whenever, before I film these Ship With Me videos, I always pull all of my solds from my sold rack, put them on my shipping rack, and then I go through the whole shipping rack and I just double check everything for flaws. I lint roll anything that needs some extra lint rolling. Just basically make sure that everything is in the condition I described it to be in. And I somehow missed a hole in this jacket unfortunately it's kind of small when you see it from far away but then when you look closer it is kind of large so i don't know how i missed that definitely a bummer uh but i thought i'd still show you guys what it sold for the brand is inus crafts and it's definitely a bolo especially their wool or cashmere stuff it's usually made in ireland people search it out um, i had it listed for 50 Someone liked it, and so I sent them a $45 offer with discount ship, which they did accept. My earnings were $33.32. I got that at the Austin Bins, so I paid about two, and my net profit was around $31. So definitely a bummer, but that's okay. Um, I need to remember to cancel that afterwards. Okay, after that, we have... J. Crew silk floral print blouse. This is adorable. Um, and kind of like I was mentioning with that tank, I got this even though it's a little bit less substantial because it is silk. It does have a really pretty print and also some metallic details. It's fully lined, really kind of thoughtfully made. Little keyhole closure in back. And this kind of stuff does cross over a lot of different style categories. Like it's kind of chic and almost contemporary with the cut of it, but definitely kind of boho with the print. Um, so I do like to get that stuff because it does seem to appeal to a wide variety of people just because it is, it's kind of like a Venn diagram with the, with the style. Uh, it you know crosses over 
several circles, I would say. So it appeals to more people, um, which makes it more marketable. I listed it at 32 and maybe a month, month and a half after listing, I got a $26 offer, which I was actually really happy about. My earnings were $20.80. I got it at the bins. It does weigh almost nothing. Uh, so my net profit was right at $20 on this. Very happy with that. Next, another three piece bundle. First off is this beachy boho embroidered detail wide leg pant. Brand is Peck and Peck. I have seen this before, never picked it up, but these had so much going for them and the seasonality was right on point, so I had to get these. Second is Lucky Brand floral printed size extra large kind of boho peasant style top. Um, this was in excellent condition and I couldn't pass it up. Definitely a more kind of bread and butter brand. I'm getting a lot of emails uh, for some reason. Okay, last piece is Feathers by Tolani. Open front, really boho print kimono piece. And I was excited to find this. Weighs nothing, very cute, seasonality is great. Just reinforcing pretty much everything I've been saying. So when the three of these were added together, the bundle price was 78. Let me roll this up here. Bundle price was 78 and someone offered me 66, which I accepted. I would say all of these for sure were very quick sales. I don't think I've had any of these items for longer than a week or two weeks. So that's great. My earnings were $52.80. I paid five for everything. And so my net profit was $47.80 on this bundle. This is a really fun summery set of pieces. I hope the buyer loves them this summer. Very cute. Okay, moving on. This I picked up at the bins based on print. Again, we have an animal print. It's like a snake slash cheetah kind of print. I would say more reptile. Um, it's a very soft, stretchy jersey knit. It was new with tags, Jessica Simpson, and it was a size 2X. So this had quite a bit going for it style-wise and just a lot of sellable factors. And it sold very quickly, like within just a few days of being listed. So we love that. Yeah, okay, they do say that the, it's Gardenia Geo Snake. So definitely a snake print. They say that the retail price is 80. I listed at 35 and I got a $25 offer, which I accepted. That's right what I aim for with uh, just kind of style-based pickups like this is a $20 return. So yeah, 20 was my earnings and my net profit was 18 to 19-ish. So right on the nose with this piece. Okay, moving on. J. Crew Chambray Pearl Snap shirt. This was also a very newly listed piece. Um, definitely kind of a closet staple. It's a size zero. Really nice shirt. Um, I listed this at 32 and someone offered me 25 which I accepted. Same kind of thing. Bread and butter. My earnings were 20 and my net profit was 19. I added a lot of keywords into this like Western, Rodeo, Boho. This also kind of crosses over to a lot of different style categories, I would say. 
You could wear this to a lot of different kind of events like a rodeo or even just dinner. You could layer it. You could wear it as like a shacket with it un, you know, open with a little tank top. Um, could really do a lot with it. Okay, next is a pair of jeans. These are really cool. Ashley Stewart, size 22. So I did, I got these because they are plus size and also because of the really interesting patchwork design. I had actually seen Reformation come out with a jean very similar to this. And so, you know, I figured why not pick these up? They seem trendy and cute. And I do like to have plus size in my closet. I listed these at 28. Someone liked them, and so I sent them out a $25 offer with discount ship. That was accepted, which made my earnings $17.32 and my net profit $15.32 on these jeans. Just ran out of tape. Let me add. Thank you sticker wrap. Actually, we do a box on these. And I am going to have to run to the post office in just a minute. Okay, next we have an adorable pair of sandals from J. Crew. These are made in Italy, so definitely nice. They are leather all over. Um, I feel like I've sold a lot of J. Crew in this shipping video. Um, I listed these at 45 just because they are leather all over, made in Italy. J. Crew does have tiers within the brand, so J. Crew Collection, which is made in Italy, is the highest tier, and a lot of stuff from that line retails for a lot. I'm talking like 150, 250, even more. Then you have your J. Crew house label, which is a black tag. And lastly, you have J. Crew factory, which they use, you know, a lot of um, kind of less quality, lesser quality fabrics like polyester, rayon, stuff like that. So with these, I believe being the highest line because they are made in Italy, um, I did list them a little bit higher at 45. I got an offer, I would say a month, possibly a month and a half after being listed for 25, which I did counter to 32. That was accepted, making my earnings $25.60 and my net profit $23. $23.60. I picked these up from Family Thrift Center Outlet. So I put these in my 1092 box and then I'm going to add a crumpled up piece of paper on top just to take up any extra space and keep them from moving around in the box during transit. I don't want them crashing into the sides of the box when they're being thrown around and i was seeing a lot of people asking me about the adhesive on these boxes i also have never had an issue with that with a customer saying that the sides opened up you do have to really press the sides together to get the adhesive to stick but past that um, i haven't had issues okay so my last sales I'm just going to show you guys because I actually haven't filmed the haul that uh, these pieces will be in yet. They sold so fast that they haven't even been hauled yet. So first sale is this pair of Can Can jeans. They are an acid wash, new tags jean 
with fading and whiskering. This is a pretty good brand to keep an eye out for, Can Can. Definitely more kind of bread and butter. These only retail for 45, but they usually sell really well. There's definitely a demand for the brand. Uh, they're a size 20W. So these sold in a bundle with this pair of shoes by Jack Rogers. I got these in a thread up mystery box a couple months ago. Very cute, vibrant blue and green color palette. And these were in really good condition. So when the two of these were added together, bundle price was 77. Someone offered me 50, which I accepted. My earnings were 40. I paid $5 for both, and so my net profit was $35 on those two. Next piece, also sold incredibly fast, is this American Eagle Grandpa cardigan. I knew it would sell really quickly. It's a size large, extra large, very fun, colorful stripe. That I listed at 28. I got a $21 offer, which I did counter to 25. Uh, my that was accepted, so my earnings were 20, and my net profit was 18. And then lastly, this sale just came in, so I don't have a label for it. It is a pair of cabbie pants. They're a navy pull-on pant with like a wide leg in a size 16. So. Really nice kind of wardrobe stable. These sold, I would say, within a week, two weeks of being listed. I got a $25 offer on them, which I did counter to 30, just because they're an excellent size, size 16. They're in excellent condition, great basic, etc. cetera. Um, and the $30 counter was accepted. So my earnings were 24, I paid two, net profit was $22 on these cabbie pants. So I will get all of this packaged up after I include the specific pieces in the haul video. And that concludes this ship with me. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see y'all soon. Bye guys.